Before we kick into this video, I would like to just give you guys a fair warning that the last part of the video may be somewhat depressing. And I just wanted to give you a fair warning. The rest of it's gonna be pretty feel good fun stuff like we usually try to do around here. But I saw something this morning that I need to talk about. Freaking fly, man. Aloha, friends and family. It's, uh, welcome to, yeah. This video has everything to do with feeding live versus feeding frozen, 100%. And there's a completely sane and reasonable reason why my room looks like this right now. So a lot of people have actually been asking me, how do I thaw out my rodents? Like, what's the process? How do I go about it? And it's pretty simple. I pull out my convenient fridge and breeder rack here. Obviously that's not crucial, but if you have one, it's quite convenient. Get that, I got my little cement mixing tub. Throw that down. Throw a couple of paper towels up in that little thing. Get my bag of rodents, open it up, dump it on there, and I let them thaw out at room temperature. And one thing I'd like to mention is that a lot of people I have heard recommend thawing out your rodents in the fridge, just like you would thaw out a steak or thaw out anything else, I guess. The reason that I don't, A, is because I don't have a fridge that's big enough to do that without putting it next to all my food that's for human consumption, so which I am not doing. And B, I get my rodents from Cold Blooded Cafe, my buddies Desiree and Forrest over there in Indiana. And as far as I know, they're still the only people in the country that actually flash freeze their rodents. So they're the freshest possible. We thaw them out, it's like they were just killed yesterday. And uh, I used to feed live actually when I was a kid, a lot, only. I didn't even know there was a frozen thought option. And um, I have no problem with feeding live for other people, just for myself, I, I don't do it. It's not convenient for me to have live rodents I need to keep track of and keep going and I don't breed rodents and all that, so it's just not me. But this is what I do, as requested, here's the information. Now once they're thawed here, then a lot of times I like to throw a paper towel on top or even before they thaw, if I happen to have a fly or something in my room or a couple flies like I do right now, I don't have a problem with flies necessarily until they come into my room. And then I'm gonna bust out the swatter. I don't like flies landing on my stuff. If they wanna be outside eating all the shit, that's fine. But once they come in here and they start trying to land on my rodents, it makes me wanna cover everything in paper towels. Freaking flies. You know, flies gonna be landing on my stuff, man. Ah, there's freaking flying here, dude. Ain't gonna be no flies landing on nothing. No, no flies landing on nothing. No flies landing on nothing. Does that mean that they're gonna land on stuff? No. So again, the reason I feed frozen is because it's much less extra work than trying to feed live rats. So this is it. Uh, now, don't worry, I'm gonna reuse all these paper towels, but I need to get that fly. Teach you to come in my house for government spies. Where you at? I know you out here somewhere. Ah, ah. Maybe that thing actually did its job. I don't know where they went. Going all radio silence on me now that's easy to see you guys, huh? Hmm. I know you'll be out here. You'll be coming out. I'm, I know you're around here somewhere, you ah. You bastard. You know, if you were doing your job up there, we wouldn't be having this problem. Now I don't see a single one anywhere except for that one I killed behind the sign. <sighs> Let me get the boys down here, get to the bottom of this. Boys! What is it? Okay, now you can. What? Whoa! How is it? Twist! I thought I thought I put paper towels on them. And we did. I'm going to sit on this chair. Because I like it. Whoa! It's like some kind of thing. Oh, you got the chair. What do you know? No. I know! Godzilla! <laughs> what 
the bad. Godzilla! That is... Well, let me be Godzilla. Legendary Godzilla! Here's that. Is the real king of the monsters. He's the real Godzilla king. Haven't we talked about Godzilla before? But I didn't say legendary. I need you boys. I, I have. Wait, hold on. I got you guys down here for a reason, man. I need you guys to find the flies so that we can get rid of them so they don't fly around so we can take these paper towels down. Why do we need these paper towels? So that the flies don't land on anything. But they'll land on the paper towels. Exactly. They'll land on the paper towels instead of landing on my stuff. But they can fly through here. Kid, my logic is impeccable. Like three spiders that I'm looking Four spiders that I'm looking at. Yeah, I've been telling these spiders that they're not doing their job right. Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? I know. Paper towels. What about paper towels? That they come from rolling stuff and that's what I know. What? Wait, I think I saw a fly stuck in a web. Or it's just not a good thing. I think fly I did. know where there's a fly. Nope, not in here. I want flies. Wait, how many flies are there? There were like seven when I first started and I haven't seen, I've seen one. I've killed one, but there were like seven of them. Maybe they got out. Yeah, I guess that's possible. Hiding under the paper towel. Let's check under here. Nope. Under here. And I got some water, just in case you see. This water made it in a mark. All right, boys. Since all the flies seem to have left the building on their own accord, you can just help me take all down these paper towels. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, stop stepping on my stuff, you little uh, fly. I would go for this one. Thank you, boys. Welcome. Some good boys right there. Ooh, one little detail I forgot to point out is that I use this uh, little heat mat that I put the rodents on after they're thawed out. And I said, if I'll never do that again unless I want to. Fly! Bye! No, there's a fly! What? Got it! <laughs> so that's the last Good job. And I put them on that heat mat for about, oh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, depending on the size of the rodents. Okay, so this is the part of the video that I warned you about in the beginning. Not, I mean, I like to give guys warnings because you never know what you're going to see on this channel. You really don't. And so if it's something that's a little different than our usual content, uh, or is potentially, you know, harmful or is going to depress people, I like to just give a little warning. So I don't want to hear any whining down in the comments about, oh, why did you show that? Because I'm telling you right now, if you don't want to get slightly depressed or even maybe extremely depressed or curl up in a ball and cry like I did this morning, stop the video right now. Simple as that. Scrolling down my feed today and I saw a post from one of my friends in Hawaii and it was a video, and the video is from quite a while ago. The little girl in the red in this video is actually a a great Hawaiian singer that I've had the pleasure of meeting and playing at different shows with uh, on occasions when I lived out there. And uh, it's, well here, watch the video. I think you can even tell by the expression on the officer's face in this video that 
he doesn't even think that this is necessarily the right thing to do here. So once the U.S. moved into Hawaii, you know, it started to place, displacing natives, of course, and also with the rise of, you know, economy and, and housing and all this other stuff and the, the cost of living, um, not everybody was able to afford housing, uh, traditional or, you know, the new style of housing. People are still living on their, their homelands that their ancestors have been on for a long time. And uh, it's not, no, not, not pretty to see uh, the U.S. government ripping families from their, their homes. And uh, <clears throat> being that I lived there so long, I start everything off with Aloha and I try to spread Aloha. This is part of Aloha. It's, it, it's amazing how strong a lot of the people still are on the island and how welcoming many people are still after what has happened there. Um, and I felt that it was a responsibility of mine to also help spread the message because it's that's an old video, but it's still happening today. So I felt a very strong responsibility to help spread that message that, that it's still actually happening today. Families being moved from their, their native lands. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's your feel-good story for the, the, the week. Mm, I guess if you want to try and take something positive from that, maybe you just think about the fact Maybe you can just count your blessings that uh, I definitely am counting my blessings that I'm not being ripped from my home by the U.S. government. So if, if you're also in that boat where you're living comfortably at home, not being ripped from it, just be thankful. Oh